So I'd never been sick a day in my life. I don't think I missed the day of high school. I took a couple of months between high school and college with some friends and I picked up food poisoning, I ate shrimp and I got sick for about a week. Two months after getting back, I started developing these migraines. It began as one migraine a day that eventually morphed to three until I had a migraine 24-7, which left me completely lying in the dark, um, unable to have a meal with my family, watch television, uh, look at a computer, read a book. Um, and I spent three years lying in the dark. And I was fortunate enough to be referred to come here to the University of Michigan. And at that time, my uh, functionality was pretty much zero. I couldn't do anything. And eventually, we got my functionality back to a level where I was able to go to a coffee shop for five minutes, go to the grocery store for five minutes, being able to do what to you would seem like a very small, menial task, but to me was huge was like running a marathon. And one of the things that I did when I was living here in Ann Arbor, thinking I was going to be here for three months, I ended up staying here for seven years, was I came into this stadium um, with a camera and I took some photographs. I went to take them to be developed in a little camera store in Dexter. The ladies came out and said, I hope you don't mind me asking, but are you a professional photographer? and I looked at her like she was nuts. She said, I really like these. Do you mind if I show them to someone in the Michigan Athletic Department? By luck, by circumstance, and by hopefully them liking my photographs, they asked to meet me. And subsequently, I ended up creating a panoramic schedule poster where I stitched 52 photographs of the stadium together, um, which ended up being sent out to all alumni, and they ended up subsequently getting hired by Michigan Football and, and the other sports programs to shoot their sports in a fine art manner while I was still being treated at the university health system, which was unimaginable to me at the time and was the launch pad to a subsequent photography career. And I've been very, very fortunate to photograph some incredibly well-known athletes, personalities, politicians. It's taken me to some incredible places. I'm very, very lucky in that Michigan provided me with a real launch pad from, from a tiny little apartment in Ann Arbor where I was able to build a career that really snowballed from there. So Adam has a whole bunch of different constellation of symptoms and syndromes that comes together. Sometimes we think of these all as separate issues, but many times they can be explained all by the same underlying chemistry. So our thought with Adam is that he has one underlying problem, but it's manifesting in many different ways. Uh, and the idea to help him is to control not just the underlying problem as best we can, but to treat whether their symptoms are left over. The condition that I have is one that is a little bit of trial and error and takes a lot of, you really need a doctor who's a, part, who's a partner with you, who's gonna get your personality and really have a understanding of your condition, a deep understanding of your condition, but also an interest in your condition. And Dr. Cooper really has that. I would say one of my favorite things about Dr. Cooper is he's always willing to think out of the box. I've been through many neurologists before I saw him and got misdiagnosed as having brain tumors, multiple sclerosis, uh, anxiety, I mean, you name it, I got told I had it. Um, and when I got here, Dr. Cooper's confidence instilled confidence in me. What I have is still ongoing. It's something that I have to adapt my life around. I have days, last week I was in the dark for two days with ice packs on my head. You see me today and I look great and I look fine, but I may go back to my hotel after this and lie in bed for three hours. But in the future, they'll eventually get there and they'll find a cure. I'm, I'm, I'm only 32. I got ill when I was 18. There's a lot of things in front of me and a lot of years in front of me where hopefully there is a pathway to eventual recovery or at least more reduction in my symptoms.